Hi, it's Kip K back with another weekend project from the pages of Make Magazine. Some of the most popular weekend projects have been about photography, and I guess that's because just about everybody at some point in their lives has taken a picture of something. Photographs are kind of like the original way to capture and save precious memories. Well, as far back as the 4th century BC, Greeks like Aristotle thought of the idea of a pinhole camera. Now, a pinhole camera is basically a camera without a lens and a very small aperture inside. Well, it wasn't until 1850 that a Scottish scientist by the name of Sir David Brewster actually took a picture with the very first pinhole camera. So join me today on this week's Weekend Project as we make a pinhole panorama camera. Make Volume 9, The Fringe Issue, is where you'll find the Pinhole Panoramic Camera Project by Ross Orr. You can pretty much get all the parts for this project around the house or at your local hardware store. And you'll also need some 120 film, which is pretty easy to find online. There's a template along with this video that you'll want to download and print out because that's what you'll use to build the top and bottom pieces of the camera. When you're done with those pieces, be sure to clamp them together and sand them real good so that they match. We'll also use the template to mark and drill two holes where we'll put an eye bolt and another bolt. Now these will act as holders for our take-up reel and our film spool. The bottom piece of the camera will also get a hole drilled into it, but only part way because we're going to put some wood glue in there and then also we'll hammer in our nut and that will serve as our tripod mount. I used a Q-tip to sop up some of the excess glue so it didn't get in the threads. At this point, you'll want to add your take-up reel and then also cut a block of wood that's the proper height of our camera and clamp that together so we can glue on our side rails. The tuna fish can will come in handy because we're going to cut a 1 inch by 5 inch strip of metal out of the side of the can. After drilling a couple of holes in that piece of metal and then also adding rivets, that will be stapled to a small block of wood that will be a little bit of a spacer on the bottom of our camera. Now this piece of metal is going to serve as the bottom holder for our film reel and our take-up reel. Glue that block of wood in place and clamp it to let it dry. We will be cutting some sheet metal in this project, so be careful that you don't cut your fingers. And we're going to cut out a piece that is going to serve as our film gate. After that's cut and shaped, we'll use some black silicone, which will not only hold our film gate in place, but also seal out any light. And then you'll need to also tape that in place and let that dry overnight. The pinhole is made out of a one inch piece of sheet metal, which will use a ball peen hammer to hammer a little bump into it and sand the one side so the metal's thin. Then we'll use a needle to poke a small hole through that sheet metal. Two more pieces of wood need to be cut out and also a couple of strips of cardboard. The cardboard will serve as guides for the film. One piece of wood will fit inside the front of our pinhole camera. Our pinhole will go over that hole and then the back piece is added. You'll drill some holes in the corners and add some wood screws to hold everything together. And then there's one final piece of sheet metal that needs to be cut and shaped. This will be the back of our camera, and we'll also be adding some silicone to hold this in place and also keep light out again. And finally, I decided to just use a simple piece of tape to act as the shutter. Well, there you have it, the pinhole panoramic camera. Now, this project is a little bit more difficult than some of the projects. It takes probably a good weekend just because of the glue time and uh, cutting a lot of these pieces to make them fit right took a little bit of work. And the only downside to this weekend project video is I don't have any photographs to show you that I actually took with my camera because there's not a lot of people that are developing 120 film these days. So I've sent mine off for processing and hopefully I'll be able to show you some photos in the future. But there are a couple of good resources for pinhole pictures. And one is Ross Orr, who's the author of this project from Make Magazine at this link. And then there's also a Flickr group that has pinhole photographs. So take a look at some of those and go ahead and build your own pinhole panoramic camera. I'm Kip K. We'll see you next time with another weekend project. Music